you are being spoiled by giving the images because one headache of creating a website is actually getting all the images ready and make sure that they will be very good and to the right size for your website. And those are also things that we cover here at Websites for Beginners. But in this case, I'm giving you those images so that you can practice along. In the description below, you will find a link to the creatives. That is where the images are hosted. Click on that link and I will simulate that for you. Once you click on that link, the following is going to happen. All it's going to do is download it. And as I'm using Chrome in this case, it's downloading the zip file here in the bottom left corner with what? About five megabytes, which is really, really nothing. I'll go and show it in folder. Here is my zip file. And then you click on it to open it or whatever may be the case. Now you need to extract these. Unfortunately, I see I didn't create a folder for it. I will go ahead here and just make a folder, make it a little easy. And I'll call this print co. So I have that print co. And then I will double click again here. I will select all of them and then go ahead and copy. And you know how to do this. You'll do the way that you prefer. And then we paste it and I bring these in here. Now I have this little folder with all the images nice and ready. You can see these are the images we will be using. And then over here, I also have a website screen capture for you if you want to have some reference to follow along as to how the website will look. And you can scroll through that nice little handy guide that you can use. Here also is a Word document that you can open in Google if you don't have Word. And this will give you the settings that I'm using. Let's just have a look here. The images that I've downloaded, the links for that, as well as the link for the favicon, the fonts we will be using, palanquin and palanquin dark, and then the two colors. Yeah, just two colors. Um, their, their names of the colors are, and you have all of these creatives ready. But what we need to do next is go back into WordPress and bring in those images. I'll just close this download bar and select media from the navigation menu on the left. This opens the media library and currently no media items are found. That's how it should be. It should be empty. Take your folder or your finder and then select the images. Do not select this one with the screen capture nor the document. You don't need that. And all you need to do is click hold and drag it into the media library. Depending on your speed of your internet and also your host, this is going to be either very quick or it may take some time. These are not big images, so it shouldn't take forever. And you, within no time, I've gotten them in. Now the images are within WordPress. So when we build out this page, I don't need to import them every time one by one by one. I can just simply go to the media library and use them from there. With these images imported, let's go and change the site title, the tagline, and the favicon in the next chapter.